to, to resolve this problem, to design the helical spring. Okay? We want to create a shape. Maybe you think of the process. If you are using a modeling tool, then how are you going to start with? Is it useful? Maybe first we draw a circle and try to lift the circle gradually following the... Uh, imagine that you are walking along the circular path, but when you walk, you also go up. You walk following the circle, yes. but you also walk up at the same time. Then you make a helix, right? Okay. So let's draw a circle first. Uh, go to curve. Uh, okay, here there is a circle. Okay. And we have a center of the circle and the radius, right? And according to your description, the radius should be the spring diameter. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we have a parameter. We uh, can have like uh, 20. Use this slider to be the parameter of the circle. So now we have the circle. And we can use this slider to control yes. the diameter. The diameter will be twice as large as this. Okay, anyway. Now imagine that we are walking along this circular path. Okay? And let's assume for every step. Okay, if you walk like uh, every step like one degree of arc, then it takes 360 steps to complete the entire circle, okay? And if it is a helix, then after 360 steps, which should be at a higher elevation, which is exactly the height of a pitch. After 360 steps, you're going back to your starting position, right? Yeah. But should be higher. Yeah. Okay? And what is the height? Yes. Should be the pitch of the spring. Yes. Okay? So, now we can divide this circle into steps. Okay? How to do that? In curve, there is a component called divide curve. Okay? and then we connect it to it. And by default, it divides the curve into here. You see the default value, which is 10. So it divides this curve into 10 segments. But now we want 360. We can change this number afterwards, okay? So, but maybe just, just start with 360. So divided by 360 is very dense, like this. So it calculates the position. Uh, let's use a text panel. OK, but these 360 points are all at the same elevation. You see here, there's a zero. How can we make it higher, 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 and higher? And every step, we have a constant distance going upwards. Okay? Yes. So, how can we do that? Now we create another number, which is pitch. Okay? So, we have a number, this is the pitch. First, we just uh, re rename it. Okay, I think for other people, I have to explain. A pitch means when you have a spring. Okay, 
when you uh, scroll upward, when you get onto the next level, it is higher than the previous level, and the distance is called a pitch. Get it? Okay. You can show in the in, in the Google. You can show in the Google to people. In the Google. Yeah, like like you can suggest what is the pitch of the pitch. Okay. Pick, pick pitch of the strength of the pitch. Oh, P I T C H. Okay, so this distance is called a pitch. Okay. So now we use a slider. Uh, I don't know how much. We like, uh, fifty. Okay, later we can change it. So the pitch is 50. 360 steps will complete a cycle. And then at that time, after we complete a cycle, we should move up a pitch, right? So for each step, it should be a pitch divided by 360, right? Okay, so we divide it. Mass, division, 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 where's division? Here, division. So pitch Okay. Now we need we need to change the z coordinate of every point okay so we need to create a series of number which specify the elevation of every step okay how to do that uh, we go to set c risk we start from zero which is the default value and uh, Step. Yes. Every step should be the result of this, right? And then how many of them? We need 360, right? So we get the list of number. Okay, like this. I lost it. You lost it? Okay. Series. How do we get series? Five. Series. Okay, if you don't find the, the component, you click on the empty area, double click, okay, and then type it, S-E-R, then you see here is series. Yeah, I got it. Okay, you get it, and after you get it, you still want to find out where to get it, then you click Control Alt, and then mouse right, uh, left button, press it, then it shows you. See, oh. see the arrows, okay? So next time you'll be able to find it. But if you forget, don't worry, you just type in, it will find it for you, okay? So we have the series. And now the problem is that, how can we use this list of number for the Z coordinate of every step, okay? So now we have the point, right? And we can retrieve the X, Y, Z coordinate of this points right so we go to vector and here deconstruct a point so we input the point then we will get a list of x coordinate a list of y coordinate and a list of z coordinate right okay and then what we can do And then we rebuild the point with the list of x coordinate, the
the list of y coordinate and then we don't use the same z coordinate because the z coordinate are all, all zero, right? We don't zoom out. We don't need this z coordinate, but instead we use this series to replace it. Okay, we can check it. Now we have the first cycle. And we can, what we can do? We can change the pitch. You see? Ali? You see? We can change the pitch. You lost it? No, I, up to here I, I'm, I'm with you, but. Okay, I, the maybe the I. The series I lost. The series. I hold here, and then you can catch up. Okay, the series, we use the text panel to show it. By default, it creates a list from 0 to 9. Why is that? The default value start. We start from zero. Okay. For every step, it increase by one. Okay. This is the default value of step. And create how many of them? Ten of them. So zero, every step one. Okay. And we can try to do this. We use a slider. How about if we make the step as two? Then zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. If if you make it larger, then the step become larger. And also we can change the number. The of uh, I mean the the numbers of them, like uh, if you want to make uh, fifteen numbers, then it will you will get fifteen totally, fifteen numbers of them, and every consecutive number is larger than the previous one by seven okay and also you can start from another value maybe 1.5 if you start from 1.5 then the first number will be 1.5 the second number will be seven large uh, larger than 1.5 the next one will seven more okay so it create kind of a sequence okay uh, java shuliema okay i don't know how to call that in english it's a sequence okay and if you are interested in it you can check other component okay they are similar to create sequences okay but i won't go through all of them okay because if you don't use it then it's very easy to forget it okay so uh, maybe sometimes you should check by yourself and see if you can understand how it works okay so now we have finished the first cycle of it and from here actually anyone got any idea because we, we, we need to have more cycles right we need to have more cycles. Uh, let me click on this green cylinder because I, I want to show only uh, the one that I select. How can we make more cycles? How about if we do this? For every cycle, we have 360 steps. And then we can have another uh, Okay, but based on your uh, parameters, you have another variable for height. Okay, so we have to use height and divide it by pitch. Then we figure out how many cycles, right? So we have another parameter. We use another number and we rename it as height and then use a slider maybe this time we say 1000 
So 1,000 is the height that we want. But then this time, how many circles we have? So we have to divide height by pitch. So go to set division. So we divide height by pitch. So now we know that we need 23.8 cycles. Okay. So how do we control this? Uh, hmm. This part I have to think a while. There should be no problem for us to create the series. Why? We simply multiply this value. Uh, sorry, let me use another number component. Okay, step per cycle. Okay, this is a way to make everything clearer. Okay, this is the way I prefer. Okay, although it also works without adding this. Okay, but this make it clearer. So we multiply step per cycle with number of cycles then we get total steps right so this is the total steps we need 8571 and blah blah cycles okay so for the series we have to create this many series okay and you see what is the problem? Because we have X and Y, but only for one cycle. But we need more, okay? But this time, we don't have enough X coordinate and Y coordinate for the extra points, extra steps, right? So Grasshopper simply reuse the last value available. Get it? We have a list for x coordinate. Okay? But there are only 360 values. We also have a list for y value, but there are also only 360. But we have a list of z values which has 8,570 values. So very soon we use up all x and y coordinate. So what Grasshopper does is simply reuse the last value for x and y and then complete until all the z values are done. So that's the reason why you see something like this. Okay, so actually we have to repeat this x and y value again, again, again until all z values find their counterparts of x and y coordinates. Okay, there are many ways of doing that, but right now I'm uh, I'm thinking of one way, which is not so smart actually I don't quite like it but maybe simply let's try it first duplicate data let me think of it data number number of duplicates order 
Ah, oh, it has to be whole numbers. Has to be whole numbers. Okay. Ah, uh, Ali. Maybe so first we assume that for the spring, we always have to complete one cycle. Okay. So we derive whole numbers after we calculate here. Right now we have 23.8, right? How about we make a run on it? So make it whole cycle or make a floor of it. Okay, so we go to mass utility and run. So it become whole number, okay? And we use this for the calculation. So now we know that we have to repeat the x and y coordinate here for many, many times. Okay? So this is done for x and also for y. And then we use this for x and y and z. Let's see. Okay, it works. You get it? Why is that? And these are points. Now we need to connect these points into a curve, right? So we go to curve spline and there is a spline interpolate now it is a curve and we want to make it with physical thickness yes. so we make a surface tube and uh, you have this wire diameter, right? So we have another parameter. We call it wire diameter. And then we use a slider like 2.0 Oh no This is radius. If we want to have diameter, we have to divide it by two. So mass. Okay. So we can input a formula for this. First, we don't need the two variables. We say here x x divided by 2.0. Okay, so for diameter, we divide it by 2 and then connect to the radius. And this is the circle of it. What happened? Okay, to thin, okay, we make it larger. Huh, it's getting slow. How come? Okay, anyway, we have this done is, it. This is PEP or solid? Sorry? This is solid or PEP? The, the diameter of uh, the wire diameter of the spring. Yeah? Is it solid? No, only the hole? surface. Hole. Huh? It's hollow. It's uh, empty, hollow inside. How you can construct a solid? No, in Rhino you have only surface because it is solid surface modular. But if I put a cap on it, then it become an enclosed surface. And in Rhino, you use enclosed surface as solid. So the, the next step, will be solid. huh? The body we can make. Yeah, the solid. body. Uh, we assume it is solid if if, it if the surface printing, is enclosed. But if we print it on 3D printing, so it will be solid or surface? It will be solid. It will be solid. Yeah, it will be solid. No problem. Okay, okay. Maybe you just. 
follow this? Okay. Can you follow this? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Actually, I'm just uh, concentrating on your lecture, so I will follow and read you. Uh, how to somehow follow it. But I lost it, it's okay. Okay, you can look at it. Yes. Okay, try to follow. Uh, but Professor, you just make one 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 page, okay? If you want to uh, make three page, like this is you became uh, just uh, like uh, where you make one page, uh, page of the spring, like you have 42. But here I mentioned that page of the spring should be like two and four if you make variable page. Like, uh, like this is this is the this is the one page. If you want to, uh, this is the two, and this is the four, and this is the six. If you want to make a variable pitch, variable pitch. So okay. We can test. Yeah, we can do that, but not for this. If you want to do that, then we have to change the program. Okay. You mean the spring has variable pitch, pitch variable pitch, in different variable. segments. Yeah. Okay, we can do that, but not for the current program, okay? Or imagine that what we do is only for one segment. And then you can design another segment and then put together, then you have variable pitch, right? You just need to connect them together. That might be a problem, but we can do it, okay? But let's go back to, to the Rhino. Okay, let me uh, hot this. So if you click this right mouse button, then you choose run. Then let's see what happens. Then we have to choose the pipe. And you see the end of it is kept with a semi sphere. Okay, and then we can enjoy it by moving around like the circle. Ah, this is slow. Okay, if you find your computer is getting slow, then it, you need to see which is the critical step. Okay? What you can do is find out the critical step, which I think is this one. So I click right mouse button and disable it. After you've done it, then you no longer see it, but you can see the center line. Okay, and you still can modify your parameter. Oh no, you have to highlight it. So when you do anything on this slider, you have to be very careful. You have to put your cursor precisely on this sliding point. Then you can change the value. Uh, maybe we don't need to change number of cycle per cycle. We can change the pitch. Okay, make it smaller. We can change the total height. Okay, and after you think it's okay, then we enable it again. Then probably you need to wait a little bit. Then you get it back, okay? <laughs> okay, even if you want to change the diameter of the wire, I would disable it. Select this one, and then change the diameter. We make it larger, and then bring it back again. Okay. Otherwise, if you don't disable it, and then you slide, which means for every bit you've changed the value, it will recalculate and draw the whole thing. And you know why it is so slow? If we decrease the number of steps, 
first let me disable this part hmm? I cannot disable it let me uh, I cannot disable this why okay anyway let me disable this this is also on the critical pass and then I reduce steps per cycle make it maybe 32 would be enough and I enabled it we get roughly the same okay but I would say it should be much much faster you see it is much much faster and we can change these parameters make the pitch even smaller okay okay get it okay now I'm going to do the last step to make the whole script one uh, as a whole right now it look quite a mess right it's, it is not easy to 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 capture the whole process but right now after we have done it actually we need not to worry about the details we can simply treat it, it as a black box okay we just need to worry about the input and the output right okay so what we can do is we define a cluster for that so okay here I want to add one thing here before getting into this circle I define a parameter prom and then I rename it uh, spring diameter okay I call this this way and this is diameter so for radius I have to divide it by 2 right so here I have this this one I copy it and then I put it here I want to use it yeah. so for the spring diameter I want to divide it by 2 and this slider connect here and then the result will be the circle right and we clean it up a bit we have pitch we have height and uh, we have wire diameter here okay Ari are uh, this all the parameter that we want can you check spring diameter uh, we don't need this right actually but we need this to control the smoothness of the curve if we have larger number for steps per cycle then it's guaranteed more smooth okay so maybe we leave it as yes. a permanent or if we can decide like 32 will be enough then we keep it we don't let the user to change the value of it we can also do that okay and we have pitch we have height of the spring we have wire diameter so are these all parameters that we need yes, yes. okay so now we can finish it up okay let's assume that we can we are comfortable with 32 steps okay so I am going to delete this one 
So that we don't want to change it anymore. If we think 32 is okay, right? Okay, and then we can set number here as a fixed value. Okay. Now we have the input parameters here, right? You go to prom, there is a dark arrow, which means cluster input. So we insert one input per parameter. Okay, and we replace the link. So now these sliders are outside of the cluster. We cut the connection between the slider with the node for the component for the diameter. And the second thing is that we need to create the output. So this is the output, right? And let's do this. This is pipe. And it is a surface. So we go to param, surface here, breadth, okay? Breadth means boundary representation object, which is, uh, you can regard it as a multiple surfaces. Many surfaces join together, it becomes boundary representation. Why it called boundary representation? Because we want to specify a solid by showing the boundary of the surface. Surface. The boundary of the surface is are actually surfaces. The boundary of solid is composed of surfaces, right? So why this is called breadth? Boundary, B for boundary, REP for representation. This is a special term for computer graphics and geometry. So we connect pipe to this, and then we are going to rename it. So we call this spring. Okay, and this is the output of us. And now we use the gray, light gray arrow, connect them. And we have to clean it up. We don't need this text panel. And you take a look now. This is a complete group. Okay? We have cut the link of this group from others. You may have other components, but there is no link going in between this group with others. And all the ends, they are both ends, the input end, the output end are isolated from everything else. Now we select them and then click the right mouse button when your cursor is in an empty location and then choose cluster. Now you hide all the details and you can rename it like create string, create spring. And now we can try to test it. So 67 is the spring diameter. 13 is the pitch. 536 is the height, total height. And the wire diameter is 10. Now we have a spring. And you can change, for example, the pitch. Oh no, this is the height. You can change the pitch. Okay, you can change many things. And if you need a Rhino model, then we can bake it. Now you have as a Rhino model. Oh no, why is that? Why is that? I lost. Maybe because it's in the wireframe mode. No. no, no. There is something wrong with it. Something very wrong, wrong. 
something very wrong. Let me do it again. Or maybe you are right. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Yeah. You are right, you are right. So See. if I render it, yeah, it is correct. Okay, you get it? You get it? Ali?